Hold up, wait a minute. Stop in your tracks because things are about to change. So far, this could be something that I don't even know if I wanna keep in the beauty space as soon as I get it. I may declutter this right off the bat. I'm about to go through this again and see if I'm still in pain when I use this. I'm scrubbing and scrubbing. You guys are definitely going to be needing an oil to get this off if you put it on because it stays forever. I was getting ready today with my hair looking all floofy like a poodle for the next part of this massive beauty room declutter because you guys know we are on a roll. We are throwing things out. We are donating things. We are checking out the expired stuff. We are bringing in the great new stuff so we can see them. But we have to take a brief intermission from our declutter series before we get to the beauty room room reveal with all of the updates and the new beauty room tour because my friends ipsy and boxy charm delivered they were like hey it's gonna be easter a lot of people are gonna be with their families and some people may not enjoy that holiday and just need a break some people may need something to decompress with at the end of a busy holiday and my friends i have you we are going to be doing a fun little unboxing i barely had any makeup on when this showed up and i wasn't expecting it today i was not so brief intermission but we love that because hello ipsy let's do this together and yes i look like a poodle i should be probably taking these out huh Oh, I said I wanted volume, but holy cannoli. The hair is herring today and there's just no stopping her. We are going for news anchor meets, I don't know, Texan babe who just, you know, the bigger the hair, the higher to God kind of vibes. We're just going with it today. Let's lean into it. We know what we gotta do first, right friends? Happy Easter to those who celebrate and those who don't, happy Sunday. We are gonna be welcoming in some spring, I do believe. Mother Earth knows best. We're definitely leaning into those spring vibes. So if you are unfamiliar with Ipsy, let me break it down for you. This is the glam bag from Ipsy. And what she's going to have is five deluxe beauty samples and usually a cutie little bag as well. Honestly, I don't have too much use for the bags, but I do use them as like little giveaways to friends and family, but I do keep a few for myself. If you are a subscriber, you choose one of the products the and products inside can be worth up to $70. It's $14 a month. I just realized, I think this is a little peach, like a little peach here, which is very representative of spring, right? So cute, just a little peek. And then on to the piece that I really get excited for every single month, the boxy chart. And this is five full-size beauty items. Now, since Ipsy has taken them over though, you do get to select more of your items if you are a subscription member. You get to choose three products. The value is up to at least $200 a month. Where are you going? And this is now $30 a month. We're gonna peak. Oh, oh, I see bubble wrap. Bubble wrap makes my heart so happy because that usually means there's a palette or something. Oh, look at these Easter goodies. Okay, we're gonna start first with the bag and whatever I can put on my face today, I'm going to be doing because like I said, I only have a minimal amount of makeup on. I was not expecting this. So jumping into the bag here. I do have my products sent to me because I do work with Ipsy and BoxyCharm and have for a couple of years now and I'm so, so grateful. So if you're curious, you can check out my link below if you're interested, but no need to if you don't want to. Uh, there's also bubble wrap in here. We gotta know. Now I'm gonna be really real with you if you've been watching my entire declutter series for 2024, we're doing some spring cleaning. I have gotten rid of a lot of my Ipsy palettes because I'm not reaching for them and there's something that I could gift away. I'm trying to not have an excessive amount of makeup, but there are those ones that are just so good that I hang on to them. So let's find out if this is gonna be one. This is the Chica Beauty. It's a Fiesta mini eyeshadow palette. Look at that adorable packaging. Oh, it just keeps getting cuter, you guys. Oh, I really like this color story. Okay, yes, I am a neutral babe. I love a good neutral eye look. Also, eye looks are not necessarily the most trendy thing right now as far as eyeshadows go. Although a lot of us will die on that hill that we will never stop using eyeshadow because I know I won't. But the neutral colors are great if you're wanting that no makeup makeup look. But look at these 
punchy, vibrant colors. I am just drawn to these two immediately. Obviously, look at my nails. I mean, this is kind of like leaning into that vibe, right? It looks like a, like a bite-sized version of like a ColourPop palette in a way. It's so adorable. Let's see what else. Please don't be a liner. Please don't be an eyeliner. Oh good, it's not, it's a lip liner. If you do not know, last year in 2023, I think I got, I ended up with like 14-ish eyeliners last year. It was too much for one face. So I'm hoping for more lip liners. And look at this, Scone, S-K-O-N-E, li Lux Lip Liner in the shade Cosmo. This color looks like it's gonna be super nude, which is totally up my alley. Next, oh. Biro! Biro is a bougie, expensive brand. This is a pro berry pore refining toner. Look at this. This would also be great for travel. Look how little it is. Great for spring breaks, little like vacations, weekends away. I'm not gonna be doing any skincare today, obviously, because I already have some makeup on. But we got two more things in this bag here. And this looks like a mascara. Ooh, it's Tarte. Big Ego. Oh, I'm excited. Look at this packaging. Super vibrant, yes. We are getting into the spring, like, vibrant colors. Although right now it looks like I'm about to have some spring rain, which I could do without because we've been getting a lot of rain. Okay, one more thing in here. Neogen Dermatology V Biome Advanced Eye Cream. And that is everything in the bag. I think today we're going to be able to try try three products because they're makeup. I love it when we get some makeup in all of these products because we've been seeing a lot of skincare the past few years. Super excited to see what we have here in the BoxyCharm then for spring. I'm hoping for more makeup, but I do see some packages up here that are making me think we're also going to have some skincare. Right on top, Koa Life. So we have received something from Koa Life before. It wasn't necessarily something that I was super wowed by. It wasn't bad, but it was just more like mediocre. This is the Detox Face Mask. Very interesting. Oh, it's an Oat Charcoal Bionite Clay Minimizing Blemishes Decongests. Absorbs, absorbs dirts and excessive oil, soothes and hydrates. She has a lot of claims to her. So stay tuned, be subscribed. I usually give you guys updates on all of these types of products because I want you to know, is it worth the investment? Buxom, oh my goodness. Is this gonna be a lippy or is this gonna be a mascara? Let's find out. Oh, we've got something on top. Please be a lippy. Dolly, babe, it's a sheer tint. Collagen infused lip serum. Okay, I am actually supposed to be decluttering my lippies today, but I'm so excited for this. Y'all look at this packaging. She's like a little vase or something. She's just like, she bows out like this. So cute. All right, I'm going straight in because the only thing I have on my lips right now is like a chapstick. There's more pigment here than I expected. Oh, I am not mad about this little tingly when you put it on. Is it that the collagen? Oh, it's a plump shot. Finish reading the description, Nicole. So this will be plumping, so you will feel a sensation on your lippies. Love when I get some good makeup. Let's see here. <gasps> she said that before reading the very next thing. Ugh. All right. This is a gel eyeliner. It could be great. It could be amazing, but my, I haven't actually decluttered those yet either. But I did a bunch of them last year because I kept getting so many it was forced to, but ooh, ooh, it's at least not black. <laughs> it's Coffee Bean from the brand Life. It's a high definition gel liner. I don't have too many browns, honestly, so I may hang on to this one because I tend to use like my brown shadows as a liner. Oh, we have a brush on one end. I was confused. I was like, this looks like it's dual ended. Look at the color here. Ooh, okay, she's super creamy. She is very pigmented. And then there is like a little brush on the back end so you can kind of draw out what you want maybe. I will say that this feels like, oh, once it's down, it's not moving. Like you gotta move kind of quickly if you wanna be able to spread it apparently. Okay, so I and Ion Beauty I think is the next product here, but I have to stop this to say, now my lips are really, really, really tingling. To the point I was like, oh, are they feeling chapped? And then I realized it must be the the shot, the shot. <laughs> um, mm, I don't know if I like this now. Maybe if I didn't have it on bare lips, but on top of something else, we shall see. But my lips are feeling pretty borderlining uncomfortable for me and tingling lips from a lip plump don't usually bother me. Unless I'm about to get the juiced up lips of like 
all of those filters we see on Instagram. We'll talk, we'll talk then. This is a slushy. It's actually called a slushy. I'm wondering if it's a play on how people keep wanting to do all of the drunk elephant smoothies where they mix some of their skincare. This is a hyaluronic acid bok chul serum. Okay, I have to give you a little bit of what I understand about bok chul because I'm actually using another bok chul item that I received from an Ipsy recently. This one is like a soothing repair. It's a toning serum with bok chul. So a lot of us have loved some retinols for years. However, that does really affect our skin when it comes to the vitamin D in the sunshine. So it is tends to be something we use at night, but since I had a skin cancer scare earlier this year, I'm starting to transition more to like bok chul's because they have a lot of the same benefits of retinols from what I understand, but it's less sensitive to vitamin D, less sensitive to making your skin burn, but still has so many great benefits for your skin. So uh, now I'm interested. Now I'm excited that it is skincare. It hydrates, it clears, it smooths. So let's get into this. I love when it's a pump. Ooh, okay. Ooh, look how it does have obviously some liquidy consistency because she's running down the hand, but it is a bit thicker too. So, okay. Oh, I'm gonna be excited to play with this now. Ooh. And now I don't know if you could see this on the hand, but where it's run, it looks really watery, but then it looks really like, like it's sinking into the skin and drying really quickly on the skin. Like it's not just lingering on top of the skin. It's going into the skin, absorbing. I'm going to give you updates. And the last product in the box looks like it's going to be a palette, which could be super exciting. So let's see. Ooh, this looks Fun. Lunar Beauty! I, I have not done any spoilers. I've not looked up anything. Oh, it's not an eyeshadow palette, so it's a good thing we got an eyeshadow palette. This, you my friends, is a cheek palette. This is the Moon Prism Blush from Lunar Beauty. It's been a long time since I've gotten anything from Lunar Beauty, so let's dive into this. Only blushes? I feel like palettes, unfortunately for me, again, I'm about to declutter some face palettes, um, probably today with that lippy declutter I was gonna do. I feel like face palettes are something I don't gravitate to unless I'm traveling, so it's gonna have to be really special for me to want to pull this out every day because I have so many singles. I tend to reach for those just based off ease of use. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this packaging is getting me excited. Why is this so cute? This is just feeding into my very watercolor vibrant vibes. I love. I'm so glad they're powders because if this was about to become an entire palette of creams, something I've gotten from like Iconic London and a few other brands, I was gonna be so disappointed because I just don't reach for blushes that are creams. I don't for my skin type. So we're definitely gonna play with this today. We're gonna see how she performs because I'm excited. Now I don't wear a lot of blush and I also feel like the blush trend is kind of petering out. So is this a newer product or is this something that's been around for a while? Because if you don't know, a lot of times subscription boxes are kind of like the filtering down system of when maybe makeup's been out for a minute and you know, it's, it's just kind of like going out there to get some more product off the shelves. Okay, I think this palette is about three years old. So that totally makes sense as to why we are now seeing it in these subscription boxes. And I don't mind that in the least. I was just thinking as far as trends go with makeup and let's be serious a lot of us that are so like enmeshed in the beauty community we don't care about trends we go by what we love what is a great formula what do we want to use but as far as like the trends go blush has been really big the past three-ish years and now it's kind of i'm sorry blush lovers making its way out a little bit it has been for a touch with the clean girl aesthetic but the blush was really the thing that was staying put for the most part with that clean girl aesthetic now we're kind of getting back into that bronzy more highlighty, glowy vibe. So let's play with this. Let's just see how this goes. I'm really excited and I'm so glad that I already had some makeup on because it doesn't look like we had any of those base products anyway. Okay, besties, in case you're curious, the lips have calmed down. They are no longer doing that overly sensational tingling that made me feel like they were like borderlining chapped. They are now back to being fine. So do we see some plumping? So I have on some bronzer and some other makeup, but we're gonna jump right into this blush palette, right? Because look how beautiful these are. All right, I'm trying to decide which color because I tend to gravitate naturally to a little bit more of the orange toned blushes because those work better for my undertone. I have more of a neutral undertone and these two are definitely like vibing at me a bit. 
don't want anything too dark right now. So let's just kind of see. I don't know how pigmented it is, so I'm just being a little cautious, but I think I can go a little bolder. I like when a product is blurring and not just grabs to your face and sticks there. I like when it gives it some some blur, some going in with the skin becoming one because when it just sits on your skin, it doesn't look great. Looks like you're wearing some clown makeup. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. It looks like it even has a little bit of some lip from within glowy properties. Can you see this? Now I do have on a really good glowy primer too, so maybe we should do some swatches really fast. This is a really, really nice blush palette, you guys. And this is a power pick for the month where you get to pick your power picks if you are a subscriber. I will say this shade right here. It's called Soul. It has that bit of shimmer into it. And since I combined this shade with this shade, which is stunning, I think that's where I'm also seeing some of that glowy from within look, but it's not overwhelming on the face in the least. It is super beautiful. These are gonna be great for spring. This was a great selection for the box, I think for spring. The two shades that I used were Twilight and Soul, and I think this looks really stunning on the face. I think if you just wanted an all matte, you could skip Soul and just go straight into the mattes, but this looks really nice. It's giving me a little bit of more of just that flushed springtime look, like I've been in the sun a little bit. And that's really how I like my blushes to look. I like them to essentially complement my bronzer. As I'm looking at the swatches, the formula is super consistent. The pull looks really lovely. There is a different color in here, a good range for everybody. I don't know if it goes entirely dark enough for every skin tone, but it does give you a nice variety. I personally, being me with my skin types, my skin tones, this is a great palette for me to wanna to reach into if I wanted a variety in one thing. So I actually am pretty excited about this, honestly, and I didn't think I was gonna be, if I'm gonna be real. Next, we gotta go into the eyes, and the eyeshadow palette that we did receive was this Chica Beauty Fiesta. Let's have a party on our lids. You guys know I love to start with a neutral shade. Okay, right out the bat, I have to say I'm not very impressed with this starter shade because it's not very pigmented. Like, I'm really having to dig my brush in here to get much of anything, and I'm on layer, like, four... I'm not very impressed with this. I definitely have better in my collection so far. This could be something that I don't even know if I wanna keep in the beauty space as soon as I get it. I may declutter this right off the bat because I've done so much work decluttering my palette collection and all of my beauty space, all of my beauty drawers. I don't wanna just hang on to something because it's new. I wanna be able to, you know, gift this to a friend if I think she would love it more than me or maybe doesn't need something as punchy as I tend to like it. I'm gonna go in here with this more neutral shade with the, one of my favorite brushes. So let's see if this is where it comes to life. A little bit. You can build it up. It just takes a bit, a while, some time. Once you get it built up, you can, you know, really work with it. It's not overwhelming. It's blending nicely. I really wanna pump up the volume. I wanna see what I can do. Not a lot of fallout, so that's good so far. Okay, okay, now we're getting to some color. Now we're getting to some punch. It definitely like wears off on the brush though. Like I'm trying to pull it up here, there it goes. I'm gonna look at all of these shimmer shades in a swatch and we're gonna do a little swatch party. One, ooh, two. Maybe this is where the formula's gonna shine. Maybe this is really where their bread and butter is, is in the shimmers. Okay. We're also gonna, you know we're going into this. Look at my earrings. We're going into the teal. Just get a swatch. Let's see what she looks like. What color are we playing with here? Oh yes. Oh yes, totally up my alley. All right, I thought we were doing neutral today, but we're gonna go in. We're doing it. I really thought I would have some fallout by now and I will give the credit where credit is due. I'm not having any fallout. There is nothing falling on my face right now. And I really thought with this color, with how it has to be formulated to get it pretty punchy, and this is pretty punchy. I was expecting like a mess. And there's only a touch of fallout in the pan here, not a bunch at all. All right, I might be eating my words. Maybe the neutrals are just really neutral. I wanna see how this shimmer shines, so we're gonna find out. 
I will say even with that really pigmented teal, I had to layer it to get to the opacity and just coloration that I really wanted. So it is still a building palette. You have to layer her. I really, 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 really wish that this creamy color was more pigmented because I just want to clean up just certain areas and it's so much easier to do in the same palette with the same tones you've already used. I have a look in mind that I want to make happen and I can't do it with as dark as that one is. So I am going to cheat just a little bit and go into a color pop because I want to accent this teal just a little. All right, besties, we still have a liner to get into. It dries down so quick, I don't know how you're supposed to use this brush, quite honestly, because this dried down so fast. And look, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. This stuff is reluctant to move, so I don't know really why they put that little brush back there, because she is not one to, like, wiggle around. I'm actually pretty excited to try a new mascara because I am trying one that I got in PR from Smashbox and right now I hate it, hate, hate, hate it. Probably gonna do like a fails video soon or something because I'm putting together some things that I'm just like, how did these pass my declutter that I just did? We are gonna be doing, I think, a full face of things I think I might hate and then decide on camera what's getting decluttered. Stay tuned, be subscribed. So cute, it's so, so little, it's like a little tiny Barbie mascara. Oh, it's a type of brush I like. I don't really like, because of my lashes and my eye shape, the mascaras that are just those really silicone thin wands. Those do not generally work for me. Sometimes one will impress me, but it's rare. It's kind of a thin formula. I'm not seeing too, too much yet. And the hard part about these samples is you really can't wait too long to see the whole metamorphosis of a mascara where you're supposed to wait, let them oxidize, live their life with a, you know, a deluxe sample. That's a lot harder to do because there's less product. So you kind of need to see it right out the gate. Quick update. I just went to go wash all of my swatches off of me so I didn't get them everywhere. And you cannot get this eyeliner off for nothing. I'm scrubbing and scrubbing. You guys are definitely going to be needing an oil to get this off if you put it on because it stays forever. So we have a fun little lip liner. We still have this Buxom plumping shot. What is this? A plump shot that my lips are not tingling anymore, but I'm about to just kind of like maybe re go through some pain. And I'll be real with you, before I knew that this was coming today, I did some light under contouring with a cream bronzer and I did go around my lips already. So I already have kind of a nice natural line on my lips, but I do want to jump into this pencil here that is in the shade Cosmo. It looks super like exactly my lip color, maybe a bit paler. Yeah, it's so similar. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on camera. <laughs> I was sitting here going, is it actually working? Is it giving me any product? I'm even looking in the mirror going, is it? Yeah, it's giving product. Okay, okay. It's just maybe the exact color of my lips. If you want to pump up your pout without having to go through any pain, this may be a way better approach to that because it's the exact same shade as my lips. So I can just plump them up with a pencil versus stinging pain. This is honestly so wild. I don't think I've ever had a lip liner this close to my lip shade before that I'm literally looking in the mirror going, if it weren't for the fact I'm drawing directly outside of my lip line, I would not be able to tell that the product was working. I think I really like this. This is gonna be a nice little tool in my arsenal for lip plumping when I don't want to be all tingly. So let's see here. I don't have any lipstick, so I'm just gonna jump into one here. Okay, I have on two lipsticks on top right now. I'm gonna try this again. And if I start burning, I will let you know. Here goes nothing. Not even gonna put too much on. I was gonna go back in, but now I'm like, mm -mm. we're just gonna see, let the play develop. I like to pump up my lashes again after they dry. And these definitely dried fully down pretty quickly, I would say. And I know it's harder to tell with darker eyeshadow how the lashes look. If I had on more of a neutral, you could see them. I don't think 
they look too bad. I don't think they look too impressive either though. So I guess I'm gonna be trying this mascara for a little bit to see how do I feel about it. Okay, now coming down to the end of this video, what do I prefer, the bag or the box, or either or both of them worth it? I will say looking at all of the products and trying on the makeup pieces that I have been able to try, I do think it's worth it. Will I have a preference this month? Yes, yes I do. Now keep in mind I have not tried any of the skincare, so this could totally change my mind in the future. However, for the month of April, I can't believe we're already here, I have to say that the BoxyCharm for me wins it by a pretty good margin. Yes, so far no extra gloss hurting me yet, but it did take a second, so stay tuned. But it was really close, honestly because nothing in here is maybe making me go, oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited for this. I think the biggest thing that I might be excited for, well, it's from one of each. <laughs> so maybe I'm changing my mind. I don't know, maybe they're both equally worth it. The Lunar Beauty palette was the first thing to come to mind for me. It's a quality palette. I'm really impressed with how it looks on the skin. I am so grateful that this does blend into the skin, gives you just enough of that blur too, that you see the flushness, but it's not overwhelming. I think it's great. And I'm not a huge blush girl. I'm really not. The product that's really standing out to me for the bag though, not so much the eye palette, but it did have a redemption story for me. It's more the liner. <laughs> the fact that it is the exact color of my lips. I wish it was a touch creamier, but I think it looks really nice and natural on the lips, on the skin around the lips. So I can pump up my lips when I don't wanna have an actual lip shot pout on it. <laughs> but as far as the box goes, the palette is fantastic. Really excited to get to play with this. Again, it is a power pick, so it's that next level of type of product. But I'm also excited for the slushy hyaluronic acid and Bakchul serum, and I haven't even tried it yet. So stay tuned, but I really liked how it went on to my hand. I can't wait to get to try it. The liner was also very surprising for me. Again, I have a ton of liners. This liner, I like that the tip was pretty small because I can say I think it accentuated this look just a bit, being able to give it a little wing, but it's a dramatic eye look. So really this would go much better with a natural look and I will be trying that soon. I don't know what to say about this lipping plumping. Like I'm gonna literally wait to give you my final thoughts on this till the very end because I'm not sure if I saw much of anything as far as lip plumpingness goes, but the tingle. The tingle was a little like halting me in my tracks. The detox mask for Koa Life is also very intriguing. I like that it is a clay. Let's just check this out really fast. Oh, it is like a clay clay. Smells like a clay mask too. Okay, I'm kind of excited to play with this. I might do this tonight. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, that is really where I give you guys a lot more updates in real time. So please go ahead and check that out if you are wanting to see a little bit more of the product reviews earlier, so you know. The palette, I'm still 50-50 on, honestly. I like the look that I ended up with, but it took a lot longer to get there than I really had anticipated. I wish these top two colors were more bold and pigmented for cleanup because these are pretty pigmented, but I really think where this palette is going to shine is in the shimmers. I think the shimmer on the lid is really beautiful. I like the punchy eye look I came up with. Obviously, I am no stranger to teals, as we can see. I love it. And this palette did have a redemption story for me. I may end up using her more than I thought, but I, she's not getting decluttered for me right now. And in the beginning of this, I was worried she was gonna get decluttered right away. The mascara, I'm honestly not terribly impressed with just yet. It's not bad though, I've definitely had worse, so I'll keep you updated. This is pretty okay. I like Biro. This is pretty small. I feel like this might become a little too cluttery in my beauty room. That's one of the issues I have with samples, is they tend to be feel a little cluttery in the bathroom, in the beauty room. It's like you gotta use them or they just get in your way. And if you're already using stuff, they can be a little obnoxious, but I do like the brand Biro a lot. It's done really good things for my skin, so I'm gonna try this. And this Neogen V-Biome Advanced Eye Cream, I don't know anything about it. I don't know really any claims other than it says it's going to help hydrate and firm the saggy, like prone wrinkles around the eyes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my giveaway 
little caddy that I have in my tall drawers that I showed you guys in my most recent declutter. I have just like a little bin that I like to keep to give away things when people come and visit the beauty room. So I think that will go in there because I have so much skincare that for me this just feels like I don't need it. I do have to say at the end of this video though, I'm not feeling anything. So maybe just don't put this directly on your lips or don't do a ton. I've been playing with it here, getting ready to do a thumbnail and I think, um, I'm starting to feel more tingle now. Don't add too much and don't put it on bare lips. That might be the, the moral of the story unless you don't mind the extreme tingle. As always, I love doing my videos with you guys, especially Ipsy and BoxyCharm. But yes, we still have so much more declutters to go. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of the fun we are having right now with our spring cleaning. And then I'm gonna do a whole new beauty room update because we have a lot of new things. We've done like a whole update here. I will see you in the next one. Bye friends.